Ah, the side-scrolling brawler. A classic among classics. Doesn't matter if it's Final Fight, Streets of Rage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Guilty Gear Judgment, or any of the bajillion such games Konami made back in the day for arcades. Walk to the right, beat up anyone who steps to you as you do so, destroy crates and barrels and trash cans in search of food. No one questions these practices, they're rather well established. But with the venture into the third dimension that the latest generations have made, these isometric three-quarters views have fallen out of favor. Even as bad as aiming in three dimensions can be, it's nothing like the frustration of being one or two pixels too shallow or deep in that mystical third dimension, throwing a very laggy punch and then getting the bejesus beaten out of you by 12 guys. Final Fight details the touching story of an elected official who, when alerted of a hostage situation, decides to circumvent the whole judicial process and just break some heads. Doesn't hurt that he's frickin' huge. Like Jesse Ventura buff. He's joined by Guy and Cody, two martial arts also looking to rescue the fair Jessica. Two players can team up to possibly stem the tide of copy-pasted foes. I don't want to know what kind of science experiments led up to some of these jokers. And you're going to need all the help and trash can burgers you can put your hands on because the enemies are just vicious. Getting ganged up onto the tune of your entire health bar isn't terribly uncommon. While you've got an area clearing attack, actually making it work can be a bit on the dicey side. And don't even get me started on the camera or whatever passes for that camera these days. Once it locks onto a scene, you're stuck there no matter what happens to walk off the side. Sometimes you find yourself standing about just waiting for that last foe to get the nerve to come back on screen. Sometimes you get a flying jerkwad launching an attack from off screen faster than you can react and landing off the other side of the screen. Less than pleasant. Less than pleasant. While the nostalgia factor might be high, playing Final Fight Double Impact is a fantastic way to remind oneself of just how much of a pain in the butt the original game was. Because besides a new coat of paint, nothing much has changed. The AI is just as cheap, the characters are just as slow, and soon you'll be begging for a teammate because otherwise you're hosed. Fortunately, the game allows for drop-in team combat, making finding a pal a bit easier. There are also a number of micro-achievements, mostly for the purpose of unlocking supplemental data and comic book pages and whatnot. Which is a cute idea, especially if you haven't yet read up on the whole poison thing. You've been warned. 